We discussed a simplified version of calculating the center of gravity as measured in inches from the datum. In another uh, lesson, we'll talk about a different way of measuring the center of gravity, but we'll use inches for now. So for this example, we're going to use something we used in the class. A few reminders, you need to know the weight and arm of any weight you're adding to the aircraft. So flight crew, cargo, books, anything that's going to alter the center of gravity. You also need to know the starting weight of the aircraft. So it's empty weight, it's empty weight center of gravity, and the moment of that center of gravity and that weight. Okay. I took the numbers that came off the last empty weight CFG measurement that was made in this plane before it was delivered to us. So that's where these numbers come from. These other numbers, I did measurements in the planes. They're approximations of the locations of each storage compartment, but it's good enough for us to do math in. However, if you're doing this on a real 727, I suggest you go to the manuals and find the exact numbers. Anyway, in class we talked about um, having a couple of pilots, a flight engineer, and putting some weights in various compartments. So we'll walk through this slowly. First item we have to consider is the empty plane and its weight. The arm, or the C of G right now, is 941.73 inches. So that's the arm of its mass, 94,593.9 pounds. Multiply those two together, get 89,081,913.45 inch pounds. So that's the moment of the weight of the empty aircraft. Example we did in class on a male and a female pilot. The arm of their seats is 109 inches. Using summertime weights as described by Transport Canada, each male be 200 pounds, each female 165 which includes 13 pounds for their baggage each. That's 365 pounds of weight at an arm of 109 inches. Multiply those through, get a moment of 39,785. Continuing on, a male flight engineer at 143 inches, 200 pounds. In compartment A, we put at 276 inches, we put 2,000 pounds. Compartment B, which is at 366 inches from the datum, 3,000 pounds. In compartment K, which is at 1,165 inches from the datum, 5,000 pounds. Add up all the weights, got 105,158.9 pounds, including the empty plane and all things in it. The moments for each, I multiply through the arm times the weight to get all these moments for each weight. Add up the moments, 96,625,298.45 inch pounds. Center of gravity, the calculation here, when we're measuring it in inches, is the same as it was on the sun downer. The net moment divided by the net weight. So we take the moment, which we calculated here from all the moments of the weights we had, divide that by the total weight that we just finished adding up. When you do that, we find the center of gravity is 918.9 .9 inches.